And now let's move on to the next segment, which is Reacts, where we're going to take a look at X and see uh, what we can react to. And um, first up, we've got <coughs> Eric Dyer and Hyung Min Son having a little bit of a hug after the game. And Dyer looks like he's uh, clapping off all the players uh, after the win yesterday. It's, good. it's nice to see Dyer getting more involved. You know what? I saw that video of him last week or a couple of weeks ago where he was coming into the Spurs training ground and he was telling the guy, I know you're not going to use it. I was like, I felt so bad for him. Yeah. I saw that. I was like, oh, God, maybe we've been going too hard on Dyer <laughs> at the moment. Maybe he needs to calm some slack. So anyway, I'm happy that, you know, that he's still involved in the in the team and everything. He might, maybe he still feels part of it. And uh, next up is Sonny looking into the camera with his iconic celebration now. Oh, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Absolutely love it. Warning, if you're, if you're not a fan of, you know, heartwarming content, this 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 segment ain't going to be <laughs> uh, Spurs Army saying these vibes with Poro, Romero and Van de Ven. Um, three out of the back four, the stunning back four that we do have this season. And just great to see the vibes in the um, in the lot in the changing room, isn't it? Absolutely. And everyone just seems, seems so happy. And I know I, I know it's easy to be happy when everything's going well, but everything is going well. So it's just, <laughs> I'm just loving it in the moment. Um, and also, you've got to say, like, cast your mind back to the last time we went to Palace top of the league. It's such a different, we're in such a different uh, moment now, aren't we? When was the last time I went to Palace top of the league? Under Nuno. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very different, very different. <laughs> it's mad. Um, EIF says Romero is such an unbelievable footballer. His ability on the ball as a centre back is unfair when you take into account how physically bruising he is on the defensive side of the game. Cheat code to having him at centre back. There you go. And uh, that, you know, that ain't a Spurs fan saying it. So. <laughs> Um, next up with uh, Spurs OTM saying Pedro loves Cootie and Porro um, with a message on Instagram. I think it was saying how easy it is to play by your side. And I think he does make Pedro Porro's uh, life so much better when, when they're playing together. I think he makes everyone's life better, but yeah, I agree. That's true. I think just, I think Porro know how knowing that, you know, he's got Romero next to him just gives him more like, like that confidence to get in those positions that Andrew's asking him to, whether it be central, or whether it be in the, in the uh, final third as well so um i completely agree i think romero has really taken on that responsibility this season and i think he's really making everyone better around him and himself and look we told all you lot we told all you lot but you didn't want to listen you see i heard everything i heard what you were all saying last season about kuti romero saying oh he's having a poor season well yeah you try playing next to eric dyer and um whoever we had at right emerson uh for pretty much the whole season and see what you get in a defensively conte system and we said Put a good centre back next to him, and you'll see the real Kuti Romero flourish. And that is exactly what we are seeing right now. Um, HTHFC um, says, "Good night, Spurs fans." A lovely picture of the Spurs team that was, with uh, the, the huddle just before the game yeah, outside again, they, the away yeah, end. Yeah, exactly. They came over to the away end just before the game as well. You can see that on our match day um, match day vlog if you want to check that out. So I love that. Uh, I love when they do that. I think it's a really good thing that Son has implemented. It's it's the uh, small things that make a real big difference, isn't mm, it? Exactly. Uh, THFC report saying Hyung Min Son and Mickey van der Ven showing their bromance after the game yesterday. Who, I love who it. does Son not have a bromance with? <laughs> literally everyone he has a bromance with. And that is why he's the perfect anyone. captain. Yeah, literally. Everyone just loves him so much. Uh, he seems like just like the perfect guy. <laughs> literally <laughs> the perfect guy. If you could make a guy in a lab, literally, literally Hyung Min Son would come out. Um, Spurs Express saying Mickey and Kuti are in little exchange on Instagram. Mickey van der Ven saying the boss. Kuti Romero saying top, top Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I love that heart. interaction. And I love how that like, like uh, Romero like calls him Mickey Mouse. It's like, it's a bit of a dad joke, but it's like, he feels like the responsibility is like, he's like the senior guy. So he's like making dad jokes. It's so brilliant. <laughs> uh, this is the team spirit. It's a picture that tweeted out by Tottenham last night. And that was a lovely moment with Ben Tankor, Hyung Min Son, and then the whole team coming to embrace them as well uh, yeah, lovely brilliant. moment there Spurs watch saying Luis Suarez to Rodrigo Bentancor how nice to see you out there again my friend and even more so after all the effort you made now it's time to have fun again always a big hug yeah, and obviously uh, teammates for the Uruguay national team so lovely to read that from Suarez James Madison on Instagram. He's taking a selfie with uh, the main man, which is Rodrigo Bentancor, in the changing room last night. And it's, it's great it's, to see uh, as well because they've never played together. As I'm saying, and it says at the bottom, welcome back, brother. So he's already calling him a brother. They've only known each other for a few months. Yeah. Which is crazy how quickly he's settled in. That's because everything. our squad is the band of brothers now. That's what we are. 100%. 
um, THFC report with Basuma on Instagram, uh, showing the vibes in the changing room after the game. And the vibes are unmatched at Spurs, in and around everything, inside the playing room, at the changing room, on the football pitch, in the stands. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, he's I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, he's just having bants with everyone. Look, I love I love his relationship with Sarah as well. <laughs> so brilliant. He's literally like Sarah's big dad. Mm. It's a shame. I do feel, feel a bit of a shame. Like, and I guess it's just because it's 2023. But even after a big win, everyone's on their phones and just in their own thing, doing their own thing, which I think probably is a symptomatic of a society rather than this squad. But I'd like I'd like to see a bit more of just like everyone jumping around, going crazy together. But you'll see that when we are. win the league. That's when you'll see that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Spurs watch saying Romero, Mickey van der Ven completed 236 passes between them tonight. Palace only completed 147 controlling the play. I mean, I think those stats are a little bit off, but I get the point. Exactly. It's the same point. What we made before, yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Invert the wing, saying Madison's worst game in a Tottenham shirt and he was still involved in both goals. That is the standard he's playing at. And we touched on that in the uh, takeaways and the um, player ratings. And it's absolutely spot on, isn't it? Even in one of his worst games, he is still providing those moments of magic and quality. Best player in the Premier League so far. Exactly. Duncan Alexander saying Spurs have recorded an, uh, eight wins, two draws and zero losses after 10 games. A lovely tribute to Antonio Conte's favourite formation. <laughs> a bit of banter there from Duncan. Um, Tottenham tweeting out this video saying well, this is what it means and the Spurs players just screaming into the camera as they're coming off the pitch. Every single one of them. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Look at that like, passion. Oh, I just love Sonny. So you see how much that win means to him. And it's just, even though it's just an award, a standard away win at Palace, you see no one is taking any wins for granted this season. And every win means so much. And you can see that after, after each win here. It's brilliant. I don't remember the last Spurs team that would have won a game away at Palace to go five points clear at the top of the Premier League. Every, every other Spurs team no. would have lost or 100%, drawn. 100%, yeah. Would have dropped points, yeah. Spurs OTM saying five points clear at the top with the chicken the in the dark. That's going to be us tonight, 100% <laughs> dancing the night away. I can't wait. <laughs> that was literally the whole away end at yeah, uh, full time. Yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love that chicken video. It's so funny. Ollie Davis, Tottenham top of the league, Tottenham, Tottenham top of the league. That's what they were singing in yeah, the away end yesterday. And that was Hyung Min Son embracing the away end. Lovely stuff. And then Rodrigo Bentancor as well. The yeah, passion in, in everything yes, at the moment is just unmatched. Yeah, and the footage coming out of the fans as well is phenomenal so far. Just loving it. Loving every second of it. Next up, uh, Tottenham tweet out saying, back on the pitch for the first time since February. And um, the club that Rodrigo, like last when he last played his last performance, which game was it he got injured at? Leicester. We at Leicester. At, it's at Pedro Porro's debut, right? Yeah. And then to now. Like it's just how crazy, has like changed, has yeah. how much has changed since he's last played. A different club, yeah. yeah. Porra hadn't even, yeah, as you say, he barely played it. He only played one. Uh, that was his debut. So even him, just like how different player Porro is, like the the difference he's made. It's just madness how much has changed. So hopefully, um, he can buy, he can bet in as quickly as possible. So how we want to play. Yeah, Kutu Romero uh, tweeted out. Is this the actual Kutu Romero account? I'm not sure if it is. Uh, yeah, it's got 287,000. Okay, maybe it is. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't have any uh, ticks or anything like that. No, but, it doesn't have a tick. Uh, if, I think it is him. It says, this is direction to the right path, no matter what happens, where we're going to get to. But like this, we work and everyone together always. Spurs official and uh, some lovely images. I just love his aggressive nature, uh, Romero. He yeah, just like brilliant. comes up and hits people and screams in their faces. And, <laughs> He's just a he's just a joy to watch, so Romero. Funny. He's just a funny guy as well. Yeah, he seems like a, a funny guy to have around the dressing room. For sure, <laughs> this one's brilliant. Harry Kane right now. <laughs> <laughs> that famous meme, yeah. So Bayern Munich a third in the in the Bundesliga. That would be so funny if they don't win the league and we win the league. That would be, I have to say, as much as I love Kane and I and I, I hate to see that his his own personal drought carry on. It would just be hilarious, yeah. if, uh, objectively, if that happened. I can't 100%. deny it. <laughs> Um, next up, the fighting cock saying, could we? Could we? So there's the fighting cock saying, could we? With Hyung Min Son and Kutu Mero coming to embrace him with uh, Emerson Royale. Next up is uh, 4 3 3 saying, who is stopping Spurs this year? Because not one team has been able to find that solution just yet. Great, great question. Uh, no one has the answer so far. No one. No one will have the answer. The whole <laughs> Let's hope so. We're going unbeaten, the unbeatables. 
Uh, Daily Hotspur saying Madders is fully coised. Uh, yeah, that tweet's, that been, tweet's been deleted. Tottenham Hotspur saying the Spurs go marching on, and that is uh, Hyung Min Son and James Madison. And those two have just been unbelievable yeah. so far. They really have every game so consistent. It's been brilliant. Spurs Web Romero completed 141 passes in the 2 1 win over Palace, the most by a Spurs player on record in a single Premier League game since 2003 2004 wow. season. Wow. That's really impressive. Yeah. Who do you reckon that player was in 03 04? I think that's. Um, oh. I don't know. We were rubbish then. <laughs> I don't know who it would have been. Was it Hodder was our manager then? Yeah. No, that was David Pleat even. Pleat. Who would it have been? Maybe like Gledley King? I don't know. Couldn't be. I wouldn't be able to tell you. But that might have been since the records began, if you know what I mean. Right. That thing that could have been when the records started. Don't uh, you? Yeah, yeah, it could be. Um, Spurs Express uh, saying, uh, we've done that picture already. It's Tottenham with uh, the first assist feeling with Brennan Johnson and uh, a lovely cameo for Brennan Johnson yesterday and his movement to find his way into the box with that interchange with James Madison and then to coolly just slot it to Hyung Min Son for that second goal uh, was top notch from Brennan. Yeah, and he seems to be settling in nicely as well with, the, with his teammates as well. So there's a lot of love in between him and Son, so great stuff. Uh, football on TNT Sports says Spurs go five points clear at the top of the Premier League and Ange Postacoglu has the most points of any manager after 10 games. So the records keeps coming in. Yeah, unbelievable. And I just love Son's face here. Just, uh, Son's smile is just to die for. You can't, <laughs> can't not love it. Uh, Spurs Webb saying he's worked hard to get back on the pitch and a special moment for him and that is Rodrigo Bentancorn. Look yeah. at that. Look oh, at the so players special. and they're coming to embrace him. Yeah, it's so great. This was such a lovely moment, honestly. It must have been. It must have felt like such a relief after so much hard work to finally be back at the pitch, and I'm so happy he got his reward. And you know, the fan, he got his moment with the fans and with the with the players as well. Look, just look how happy everyone is for him. And uh, and I think you just see here the moment here where all the player, every single player coming over to, you know show their appreciation for him they probably know how hard he's worked to get and that is what a family well. looks like that is what a family looks like yeah everyone it's... is just so happy for him and such an amazing moment really yeah. is fighting cock saying the last time we were five points clear we won the league could we <laughs> well if that happens you know 100 percent record of being five points clear winning the league, <laughs> yeah exactly <so. laughs> ed aaron says Ange postacoglu on tottenham being top of the table and he says for me what is important is that we are giving our supporters some joy and some hope that's what the football club is there for oh, i just love Ange. he always comes up with the best player what Every... did he, say? he said dreams are there until someone wakes you up yeah let's just hope when no one wakes us up exactly uh spurs otm showing madison at the end uh, he's going through it like every spurs fan was in that oh, away and yeah, yesterday yeah. He definitely was. He definitely was. <laughs> oh my god! And and he was actually uh, the, one of the ones complaining massively about the goal as well. He was like oh, off on the touch. You saw him going yeah, mad, didn't you? Him going mad, yeah. But yeah, he must have been a bit nervous at the end there. That was Madison on Instagram saying, "Enjoy your weekend, Spurs fans," and just a picture of him hugging Kung Min Son. I'm here for it. Brilliant. Uh, Spurs watch Mickey Van der Ven's performance in numbers 110 pa uh, touches 99 percent pass accuracy 95 of his 96 passes completed nine out of his 10 okay they both says passes completed but i don't know what that is um and six out of eight ground jewels won uh four clearances and two out of his two tackles won so that is mickey van der ven's performance in numbers uh james black saying top of the league and he's the reason is back he was quote tweeting our um footage from inside the stadium yesterday with Rodrigo Bentancourt getting serenaded by the squad and the fans yeah such again I could watch this moment all day it was so beautiful so happy he's back honestly such mm. a great moment and then Spurs posting out the post-match scenes featuring Lolo yesterday as well it's basically the same video that um, we tweeted out yesterday I think that's it uh, you can show Barry and Iggy and Barry and Iggy in the studio yesterday bringing home the three points Big up to Look them yesterday, that. did a brilliant job uh, on the watch along. Uh, so big up to them. And that brings an end to... What's that one? Papay Sa. Oh, look at that heat map from Papay Matasar. 
Unbelievable. So 75 passes, six ball recoveries, three was Jules won. Um, a top, top performance from Papi Matasai like yesterday. A more of like a right winger. But, yeah, literally. You know, but very much uh, controller. He was so good yesterday. He's absolutely brilliant. And there's dots around the whole areas of the pitch as yeah. well. Um, so, yeah, that is the way uh, X reacted to the game yesterday. And it was great to see.